in this section we're going to go over how to create multiple items in QuickBooks and to do this we're going to go to list we're going to go to item list and what we're going to do is we're going to go to item which is on the lower left hand portion we're going to click on the down arrow add and we're going to select add and edit multiple items. I'm going to click on this and you'll see there are fields available to us. What we're going to do is we're going to go into an Excel spreadsheet where we have the information already and once we're in the correct Excel spreadsheet with the correct information we're going to select it, press the right mouse button and select copy going to go back into QuickBooks and we're going to go into the field we want to start pasting our information and we're going to select the right mouse button select paste and you'll see the information has been pasted into QuickBooks here and you want to make sure that you are pasting into the correct list customers, vendors, service items, inventory parts, non-inventory parts. We want to cut and paste into service items. So that is what we're going to do. And we want to make sure that we are pasting into the correct fields, the correct sales price field, expense account, income account. And if we want to add columns, we can do so simply by selecting customize columns. And we could add additional information we may want to add. For example, if we want to add a sales description, we can select sales description and select add and then press OK and that column will be added. So if you see red, that means there's some type of error and if we hover over this red, you'll see the explanation. In this case, the name is already in use. Please use another name. and if you have a mixture of black and red, which is black is fine, and red, you can simply save changes and it will simply upload that which is okay in the black and not upload those in the red. It doesn't mean everything has to be perfect to upload and save. Let's just say we have a mixture of red and black. We'll select Save Changes. So this is how you enter multiple items into QuickBooks.